Hello everyone and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial. We will be discussing about custom Weltman profile today. First I will be creating a profile and next convert it to Weltman profile and finally I will use that profile to create structural member. Let's get started. Open up new part file. And create the sketch. I will create a sketch on front plane. I will be creating a one inch square hollow section with 1.2 millimeter wall thickness to demonstrate this tool. Click on center rectangle, create the sketch, and dimension the sketch 25.4 millimeters and 25.4 millimeters make sure this unit is set to millimeter gram seconds let's add corner fillet uh, add radius value 2.4 millimeter and pick all four points and click ok Let's create the 1.2 millimeter wall thickness using offset entities. If you want to have solid profile, just avoid offsetting part and keep one single profile. Enter the offset value 1.2 millimeter. Make sure the select chain is checked and click on the profile and reverse the direction. Click OK. Now the profile is almost completed. Uh, we need to add pierce point solidworks weldman profile solidwork weldman pick the origin of the sketch as the pierce point by default but always you can select pierce point manually so you can see in this sketch we have pierce po points at the end of each arc and for virtual corners but in order to have more flexible design and to have more orientation in the design process we, we, we it is better to have more pierce points so I would be adding four more pierce point into this profile at center point of each outer edge click on the point point command and click on this point and this point and this point and this point exit the point command and exit the sketch now the sketch is completed let's convert this to a weldman profile step one is to select the sketch select the sketch this is an essential step you will not get desired result otherwise always need to select the sketch step 2 is to save this profile as library feature parts into default standard development profile locations you can easily find the location using system option option under system option go to file location and under sol show folders for select weldman profiles you can see the default weldman profile is always solidworks lang english weldman profiles so you have to save this profile into this folder there are two more folders under weldman profile folder one is for standards the other one is for types so when you open up structural member property manager you can see there are three selections one for standard one for type and the last one for size so we are going to save this as a library feature part under type folder so that we can select it under size however there is another option you can save this profile 
as a library feature part into your own designated folder but still you need to have the same folder setup similar to standard folder setup i rather use the second option to have completely separate custom profile folder and not to mix up over the standard profile let's use the second option select the sketch and click on file save as under save as type select library feature parts and I will just go to desktop and create a folder first so this is the folder which we need to add to standard welcome profile folder file location so I will I will name it as custom profile home we can we can call this folder as home folder and press enter and next we have to create a folder for standard so I will create folder custom profile standard and and again click on the folder create another folder called custom profile type you can give any name you want as per your preferences and as per your design intent so click on the folder and now we have to enter the name for the part so 25.4 25.4 into 25.4 into 1.2 square hollow section save as type is library feature parts click save click ok now you can see that the part is saved as 1 inch by 1 inch by 1.2 millimeter square hollow section library feature parts let's use this profile to create a weldman structure before creating structural member next crucial step is to add the custom folder location into weldman profile folder locations under option go to option under system, system option click on file location and from drop down list select weldman profiles and now we have to add the custom folder setup we just created to this window so click on add go to desktop and select custom profile home folder and click ok click yes and click yes click yes now the profile custom profile folder is added to weldman profile folder locations open up new part file and let's create a random sketch for the structure click on front plane go to center rectangle I will simply draw a rectangle with uh, 300 by 150 millimeters and click OK exit the sketch now under Weltman click structural member feature here we go under standard we need we, sh, we, we will we will have the standard custom standard folder we just created here we go now we have N, nc inch and iso and this is the folder we just created for standard custom profile standard select the folder under this folder we have only one folder but you can create as many folder as you want under type and in this folder 
at the moment we have only one profile but you can create as many custom profile as you want select the size 21 inch by 1 inch 1.2 millimeter hole thickness wall thickness and now select the sketch all right here we go click ok this frame is modeled using the custom profile we just created similarly you can build your own custom profile database to have more versatile design process i hope you enjoyed the tutorial please like comment and subscribe click on notification icon to receive notification for similar videos thank you for watching